Hi, big boy or girl. Hi. Come on. Visually and audibly recording. Let's go. Let's go. So, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Back up, back up. I, my problem, my issue is something that can we come in at that early It's cold. They're not going to hurt you. I promise. Oh, I have one at home. <laughs> I guess my problem. So I don't really. Hold on. on. First okay, off, okay, guys, you and I have our own issues, yeah, but what are you guys here for? A uh, dispute you between you two. You guys start, you start yelling. And I don't so Brandy called the police. Yes, okay, great. Yes. Because me and you were yelling. Oh. Okay. Okay. What well, her and I have issues by between like our living situation, basically. No, the car. Well, the car too, but it really pisses me off that the fact that like Randy even called the police to begin with. I guess about a, but it's about a vehicle either. that okay, so I have in my name the van that she bought a car together. One at a time, yeah. please. Okay, sorry. That's okay. Okay. So him and I, Randy and I, have a vehicle in my name. Okay. So she offered to take over the payment and then they couldn't afford it together. Yeah. Between the both of us, we couldn't afford the payment. So he offered to take care of the payment, so did she. And then me take her car. Plain and simple. I mean, I don't know what... Not play, not take a car. I don't know no, I mean, it really, is play, okay. it really is plain and simple. Come on, Tamela, don't I lie. Don't like, do you think I was just going to give it to you? Of course. As long as I was paying you 600 bucks a month. Okay. You said, you the car, you said right I can have the car. Have have car. car. You, you can talk to him. No insurance. So you guys are arguing about a car. And video and audibly recording. What's going on? Okay. Um, uh, the couch. Yeah. The one on the couch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on, now you're playing. To, from the, I, I could hear I know, her yelling and screaming for downstairs. Okay. And Tamla came upstairs. Well, then no, she I caught her then fully. Uh, she followed her up there. And it's just been going back and forth. Are they both drinking? No. Tamla, did you not know? Did you not know? She has. The one on the couch? Mm -hmm. The one on the chair is drinking wine right now. The one in the chair? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. She has a glass of wine in her hand. Oh, I don't know. Okay. So there's been no assault. It's just been yelling. Mm -hmm. Who else lives there? Just the three of you? Just in there, and there's a lady in there that's, that's in the wheelchair. She, uh, she's sleeping. Right. We're trying to sleep right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you haven't seen an assault. No one's complained about an assault. No, it's not for any anything. Who's the primary renter here? Do you own the house? No. Uh, Pamela owns the house. Pamela does, and she just rents out rooms. Okay. Right. And so, are you taking over the payments on the van or something? Mm -hmm. And yeah. Pamela is too? Mm -hmm. well, how long has that been happening? Uh, for about, about a month and a half. Now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, really, it's just a dispute over property. She, and well, she has no driver's license. Mm -hmm. And she has no insurance. What are you asking? She's been driving. And last night, Tamala said, I got to get my car back. Okay, so she let me drive it though. That's what I'm um, saying though. She let me drive it for about three months. So anyway, she. Now all of a sudden she's changing her mind. How long has she been driving the right. other girl's car? It's confusing to me because I have no two idea. Months? I'm like. How long? About two no, months. No, okay. No, all right. No. Okay, well, we'll try to sort it out. Oh, I can't kick her out. She lives here. You would have to evict her legally. I can't tell her to leave. Okay. So, unless there's an assault or something. But um, it goes both ways. If anybody is roommate assaults one or threatens one, um, it you know it, it don't just plot against her to get her out. Yeah. It has to be a legitimate thing. Yeah. But if you don't guys don't want her anymore, then the owner of the house needs to formally evict her. Okay. Okay. No, we don't have no issues. Listen, me and Randy are good. Listen.
the dog is As long as Randy issue. leaves me alone. Of course the dog is the issue. You guys have issues. You've been yelling she at each other for three days. He gave my mom's dog away without no permission. Dog without was nothing. Every day in the house. And he said, said, he told that? me that the dog was going to a church family. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, great. You know, you, we have a family for the dog. And he was like, okay, great. You know, he found a home for the dog through his church. Okay, a family for through his church. Come to find out, I called Scraps. Yeah. They, he did not take the dog to Scraps. Okay? He took, I mean, he did t take Can that. Can I talk to you over here? But he did not take the dog to the family. I was very upset. I talked to my mom. Oh, you're drinking juice. I thought you were already drinking wine. You know, I'll have I'm you go over sorry, here so I can... You know, I, I had, you, you don't you don't my brother came and got my car last night, so... Okay, uh, so yeah. here's the deal. Back up a little bit more so she doesn't hear you talking to me. No, step up there. No, it's okay. Right here. So, um, you on the home. Yeah, they do. So if you don't want her in here anymore, you have to formally evict her. I don't have a problem with that at all. Formally evict her. I don't have a problem with that at all. So you need to go to the courts and do that. I mean, what I have a problem with is the car situation. Who says that? Oh, I have a dog that is going to go to a family church under the influence. You know, I keep telling well them to run into the wreck or kill somebody. So you don't want her driving your car anymore, and you're ending the deal. I took the car. And my brother came and got it. So she. I don't know. I have no idea. I was not aware. I should have signed the title over. Did you? So it was my car, and I think no, she gave me, me she gave me six hundred dollars for rent because I've been, I've been that's what she promised me. In my room, and um, do my own I thing. Said, Don't get what you want. Okay. Put it on the car, so now me and her in two months I can have that car paid for. I can sign it over to me. you, please. So we, I didn't, I, because I, I wanted to go to get a new job, she did okay, co sign so on this van out here with him. Right. So, she made so here's the deal. To have the car. She made one thing. Okay. Right? To the black car. All right. Now, even well, though I don't have a license, I, yet, I do not I took license, it. It was supposed to be for rent, but I wanted to go to the car so she could hurry up and pay it off. Yeah. How much is needed to pay it off? I don't think I have a $1,200 payment. I can't Sorry, hear you. $600 payment. Back okay. Said, I want the car back. okay. So I she said, gave me cool. $600. I said, I'm not going to fight with you about it because what, that shows that she had to pay rent, so she gave me so the $600. I, I said, yes, just because I want it paid off because I don't like you driving around with my car. I didn't know you was going to She goes and gets her sister. Here's the deal. That's all a civil issue with the car payment and the car and who owns what. Here's the deal. If you don't want her driving the car and her deal is over, then you know, if it, if she agreed that that money was rent, of course, and I said, yeah, put I mean, it on the truck, put it on, put on the car, and then uh, whatever. You know, That's a civil or issue. Or it's sure. considered right. it's considered rent. That's Car's right. gone, so there's no more issue. What, okay, what, but what, that, that car, that, that car the van is says, technically oh, no, his and hers. I'm so technically, you can't. So she, she doesn't want. If she doesn't want you to drive it. Technically, she can tell you you can't drive that down. Um, she's a cap owner. She didn't put any money down. It doesn't matter. Her name's on it. Right, it is, and it's in his name mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. He's getting her name off of it, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm taking over because know, she couldn't afford it. She kept saying, "Take it back. Let it get rid of it." Well, no, it's not. My car's leaking in every orifice. Okay, so here's the deal. How long has she lived here? Uh, she paid rent for two months. Two months off. Okay, so here's the deal. She lives here like four months. Two months. She and him technically own that the van, even though she hasn't made a payment. Her name is on that van. Okay, so right. There's no disputing that. Nope, there's no disputing that. Okay, um, if he gives you permission to take it, that's up to him. Absolutely. Okay, but if she don't have a problem with that, if she tries to report the van stolen, you need to let officers know that the other owner gave you permission. Okay. Um, the whole thing with the car and those payments, that's all a civil issue. We're not going to get in the middle of that. I have, I have a question. Like, what did I do wrong? Uh, I don't, I didn't do You can buy a car with an old driver's license, but you can't drive it, and if you have insurance on it, we can't control that unless she gets pulled over. However, if you're allowing her to drive your car, knowing she doesn't oh have a driver's God. license, you can be charged with allowing a suspended driver to do so. That's why I keep trying to tell her you're putting me at a big risk and you don't understand that if she did some vehicle no, homicide drinking and driving and runs into somebody drinking and kills her, kills her okay. niece in the I car to stay sitting beside her in my car, I'm to blame. She's like, oh no, it's my fault, my responsibility. 
I, you won't get her. Why don't you Why don't you give her her money back if you can and move her? Just say, here you go. And she's only paid her twice and she promised me six Then you need to go do a formal eviction. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? If we walk away right now, I don't care if it takes me three months to get her out. That I'm her problem. Me and her really honestly don't have a problem with that. She thinks that I was, I'm bad for her. Telling her she can have that car and drive it. And it's like, it just I, I don't understand. So mechanic brother because whatever. it's broken. It's leaking oil. <laughs> it's okay. got, you well, know, no, no, no. And she's out driving it around and running the oil out and going to bust it. You know, a kid. She's a kid. How, does she know to put oil? Does she know to check? Okay, okay, but that was the agreement you made and you can't. I, mean, yeah, I made a verbal agreement. Right. And, and I, I just. I mean, cause I I'm just telling her about the car situation. I know, I'm saying, I heard you over the talking to her, so I Yeah, we came over here so you could talk to him. Yeah, maybe she wants to Focus on your own problem here. I'm, I'm okay, dealing with so the problem I mean, here, okay, Nicole? Don't engage. Yeah, I'm just saying, maybe she wants so here's the deal. Have we been out here before? Do with that. Yeah, with her mother. I had to eat. Possibly. Her mother stole oh, about four grand. I took her out of home and shoved her when my husband died. I'm hoping so. I don't know what to do. I mean, I thought living here was fine. Okay, so she's gone. Yeah, but I have to go down there. So here's the deal. She moved in to help me get her out. She was everything. Psycho. I don't know what to do. So, so 4,000 bucks was a shit out of my house. Okay, so here's the deal. I didn't care about it. They domestic, the listen, answer. please. Mm -hmm. The domestic violence are, laws are if you assault one another, you threaten one another, and the person, let me finish, the person believes that that threat is going to be carried out, someone can go to jail. We don't want to take anybody to jail. The loud, obnoxious yelling has got to stop. Right, but I mean, I she's disrupting the house. house. Thank you. And I have vulnerable adults. So it's like, now how about I tell the person I'm moving into this? Lady, and oh, this is what I got. Oh, I don't have really nothing, but here's okay, what Okay, well, I, I can't make her be quiet either. So what you need to do today is somehow yeah, get help for these elderly people and then go down to the courts. Are you licensed as a vulnerable, like a house here or what? No, I don't have to be licensed. I'm taking care of one and that's legal. Huh? I only take care of one and that's legal without a license. Okay. Okay. I've had adult family homes before. I've been in this business 30 years. Yeah, I know not to take care of more than one person at a time because yeah. then I do have to have a license. Okay. No, I don't want to go. To, I don't want to work for the state. I okay. So um, I'm going to go over there and talk to him. I advise that you stay here, please, and not interject. Okay. I just, I just want to help. She doesn't understand that the risk of yeah. my car. Okay. Okay. Watch out, Papa. Okay. <clears throat> Or I thought I had a good place here. Okay, but so why would I go and search for another place when I thought I had a good place here? But you're learning that that's not the case, right? Right, just now, recently, in the oh. last, like, what, two days? <clears throat> right. Can I, hello, days, can I inter me? interject here? Uh, you asked for Officer Arredondo, right, to come up? I Is that you? I, I don't know oh, okay. what that means. Uh, right. the one that came out with my husband when he died and he came out. And okay, me. well, we don't know. Oh, okay, so your husband died, so when you use that. Ma'am, okay. ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. What did I ask you? Yeah, shut up. I didn't say shut up. I just said not to chime in. Here's the deal. This is a complete civil issue over the car. Before you interrupt That's me. That's what I was told. Shh. I was told it was to be. No, Can hold I, on. Hold no, on. I'm not, don't no, hold your finger up to me. This issue. is a civil issue. Yes, it is a civil then, issue. Okay, let me finish so we can leave okay. for more important things. Okay. We can't make her give you money back. We can't make her. I don't her, want any money back. Ma'am. No, you're not listening to me, okay. though. I don't she want no want money, want money back. back. Want Here's the deal. If we come back for an assault or some kind of threat, if, um, or... I was the one that had rum. She doesn't, she won't listen to you. Well, you keep interrupting. She's got a handful of rum. Oh, yeah, right. You want to try it? Okay, here, ma'am. God, I don't know what to do. Okay, here's the deal. I feel like so sad. I don't know what to do. Here's the deal. Okay, hold on. I talked to him. I don't know what to do. I told you. I've tried everything. I've tried everything. Six hundred dollars. Right. Well, but I've tried everything, but she doesn't get it. I've tried everything. No, because you won't be quiet. So we're we're done. Because she keeps chiming in. It's like I've done everything I was supposed to do. I've done everything. Okay, if we come back and have to take someone to jail, that's what's going to happen. No, of course not. So you you are the one right now. She's chiming in, but you are the one who is way up here talking, not allowing me to talk to try to give you some more additional information. So right now, I'm visually seeing you as the problem, okay? okay. So what you need to do is tone it down and go back to your room and not disrupt these other people that live here. Okay, sorry. And do not confront her. Not fair. The discussion is over. And Whatever you, the discussion fair, is done. Okay, 
I know, I plan on moving out, but how is that fair for them to sit there and say these negative things against me and call the cops on me? It's she like, didn't say anything I negative do. about you. She doesn't want you driving her car because you don't have a license. Oh if she allows goodness. you to drive your car, she's going to get arrested for allowing you to drive the car. Right, but I already so, paid her for letting me drive the car. That's a civil issue. Civil issue. We cannot enforce it. See, with you guys, it's a civil issue. I get that. I do. I understand that totally, wholeheartedly. But you have to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, we. I've heard it all. And he suggested a great suggestion to you. Get out if you're miserable. Don't stay. It's your choice to live in a miserable position. You are in control of yourself. If you don't like it here and you hate it here, get out. But I don't, though. It was fine at first. Okay. That's it's, not fine it fine. it's not fine anymore. It's not fine anymore.